If you share the goal of growing old in freedom and living in a world that is peaceful, then start by reading this book. A lot of times, peace activists are dismissed as idealists wishing for a goal that cannot be achieved. Peace, Love and Liberty is a collection of essays that challenge this conception and this isn't just a result of a baseless whim but a well-researched book written by intelligent and well-known visionary people. The writers, including the Students for Liberty, put forward ideas and proposals of peace which take it past being a mere moral ideal but instead present a practical and achievable objective. Wars don't just affect economies but the lives of common people as well. It's dedicated to providing an alternative to force, a peaceful and non-violent one. The agenda isn't something that would be unachievable. It demands enlightenment, equal individual rights, rule of law, toleration, objectively and most importantly, freedom. There is simply no peace without liberty. The lack of it is what causes wars to start. People want to be free and they're willing to fight for it. There's a lot of political science involved in the book obviously, but it's not overly complex. Just the opposite actually. You don't have to know the constitution or understand how we can bring peace in the world. You just need to keep an open mind. The balance between social trade, economics and peace is what we're talking about. The essays of peace, love and liberty are intellectually challenging. They offer some valid questions backed by evidence that demand answers. Again, just to not have conflict with ideals with anyone, which may be different from what's presented in the books. I'm not saying this book is the be all and the end all. I'm just saying that reading these essays might present a different way of looking at things.